This week, two of Mexico's finest copper artisans have been in Chicago. They're showing their work and they're giving workshops. They did one workshop with children. And Chicago Tonight producer Jay Shevsky stopped by to check it out. <laughs> In the basement of the Central Romero Community Center in the Edgewater neighborhood, the group of children learn a simple, ancient way to shape copper. They could hardly have better teachers. My name is Salvador Sainz Huerta. I come from the town of Santa Clara del Cobre. It's in the heart of Michoacán in Mexico. Santa Clara de Cobre is renowned for its copper artistry, which has been traced back as early as the 7th century. It's a town of about 13,000 people, with more than 2,000 coppersmiths. The art is being preserved there, handed down from father to son. When they're five years old, children are already banging with hammers. Salvador Sanz Huerte and Maximo Velasquez are in Chicago for nine days. They've brought examples of their own work and are doing workshops around the city with adults and children. Although they say the purpose isn't necessarily to develop young coppersmiths. Coming here and showing a part of our culture and tradition preserves it. It makes us especially proud that these children from Spanish-speaking backgrounds are getting to know our craft. The two artists were brought to Chicago by this local artist, Michelle Feder Nadoff, and her organization, the Quentos Foundation. Feder Nadoff works with metal herself and first visited Santa Clara 10 years ago to study there. These scenes are from a documentary she made about the town. But she says it wasn't the new techniques that interested her most, but the people she was learning from. She told me she came to see art as a way to bridge cultures. And that's why we bring the artisans here instead of just the objects themselves. It's very important to be doing the workshops and to having people meet each other and tell their stories to each other. Some of the copper pieces from Santa Clara de Cobre are basic and functional. Others require painstaking detail and a lot of time. This is one of the many techniques that we use. It's an embossing technique. This took about one month of work because of all the detail. Michelle Feder Nadoff says that the strong connection she feels to Santa Clara de Cobre may have another source her own Orthodox Jewish background. Because I came from a childhood that had so many rituals, when I went to a small community that had many, many rituals, I actually felt more comfortable there than I do in a lot of places in Chicago. My grandparents are a lot like the people that I've met. Very humble, but a lot of, have a lot of faith and work very hard. While all of these notions about cultural exchange might have meaning for the adults in the room, for some of the younger participants, the impact is pretty straightforward. We like made um, some like plates with a hammer. You have to like hammer it and copper, and then we have to hammer, 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 hammer. For Chicago Tonight, this is Jay Shevsky. If you'd like to try your hand at hammering copper or you'd like an opportunity to purchase their work, you have two more chances. Tomorrow night there will be a workshop and show at the Little Street Art Center on the north side. And on Monday they'll be teaching at the Oxbow School of Art in Saugatuck, Michigan. And as always, there's more information on our website.